Hi guys, this is Dr. John Michael De La Riarte. I am a board certified dermatologist of the Philippine Dermatological Society and I am the doctor skin for this month. So I'm here to talk about the topic ask anything about your skin condition. Alright, so we have a couple of questions here. I'm going to answer three questions from from our viewers. So number one, um, Laarni Cabrera. So hi, I have a two-year-old daughter, and she got uh, hand, foot, mouth disease six months ago. Can you recommend us so para matanggal yung mga marks? Thanks. So hand, foot, mouth disease is a viral um, infection that manifests as fluid-filled bumps over the hand, foot, and mouth of infants and young children. So anything that actually causes um, inflammation or infection in the skin of darker skin phototypes like Filipinos can become hyperpigmented, right? So post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation. And it usually results by itself spontaneously. So I will not suggest, especially for children, I will not suggest using whitening slopes because they contain acids that might be irritating. And if you irritate the skin, you might actually exacerbate the hyperpigmentation of the child. And the lesions coming from hand foot mouth disease usually do not scar. So you don't have anything to worry about. Uh, children very rarely scar, so they have good healing. But when they become adults, it's a different thing already, alright? So I will just leave, maybe I'll just leave it alone give the child a mild uh, soap and also uh, a very nice uh, mild lotion and she should be okay or your kid should be okay all right question from kg salva asking for my lola what's the best natural way of removing warts on the face all right this is very important because you need to determine if it's really a viral wart or not because our our grandparents usually have things coming out of their face because of old age and because of sun damage. And there are things also that comes off your skin because of viral infection. And if it's really viral warts, so you see, you need to see a board certified dermatologist to really determine if what your Lola has is a wart or not. Okay? So, and another thing is, if it is a wart, I will not recommend natural ways of re removing it because a lot of, uh, I think one of the popular things that people do is use uh, fruit acids they put on their wart and even natural acids are very, uh, they can be dangerous because it can leave burns, um, hyperpigmentation and also scars. So we want to prevent that. And your board certified dermatologists are trained to properly handle that. Alright, so I will not suggest do it yourself natural ways of, of removing ones. Okay? Alright, guys, so the last question is from Pauline Rana. Is it true that blackhead no strips do more harm than good? So the no strips for me I think they're very powerful and the mere physical stripping um, because when because when I tried the nose strips before when I was young you know, I was really interested about it and I, I thought it's really powerful because I could see along with my comedones um, I could see also some parts of my skin um, in the nose strip so the mere physical stripping of the outer layer of your nose or the outer layer of your nose skin uh, can leave your skin quite irritated, um, red, and at the same time quite tender. And when that happens, then you are prone to develop hyperpigmentation over this part, this part of your nose. And also, I've noticed that some um, nose strips contain acids. Maybe the manufacturers of nose strips want to some, do some exfoliation of the nose, which makes sense so that you prevent uh, the development of more comedones. But if you actually use it more frequent than is recommended, 
then you can irritate your nose using nose strips that contain um, active compounds and exfoliating um, chemicals, all right? Like many things, if you use um, too much of it, then it can uh, do harm. So in that sense, I think um, nose strips can do more harm than good. So make sure you use uh, these things in moderation and as according to uh, what is prescribed or what is recommended in the instructions. All right. So I hope you found that uh, interesting and informative and please stay tuned for more episodes of The Doctor's Skin. Bye!